Well, first I thought it was lousy. Really, that's what I really thought it was lousy. I said, oh, it's, what is this? And it sounded like beating on tin tubs or something like that. <laughs> Is it this that is really annoying me? And I said, oh, you're only playing in one key all the time. Because I'm used to listening to different changes, harmony changes. <laughs> First came to Shub and I, I joined the airplane and we started doing pretty good. And I tried to talk some of the people in the airplane into hiring this guy, and uh, Grace Slick looks at me and she says, what do you want a black old violin player in this band for, man? This is an acid band, you know? <laughs> this is drugs, man. I said, I said, this guy's already on drugs, and he don't even take them. Now, this is Starship Captain, when I was playing with Starship, and that was with the... Oh, Mark Records and all those different, uh, Red Octopus and all those different things. Actually, I haven't seen Pops and I, I talked to him on the phone about once a year, but I haven't seen Pops in, geez, I don't know, I guess maybe six years, maybe that long, maybe seven. Here's one here, keeping it in the whole family of the, the rock and roll, rock and roll stuff and everything. This was hot tuna. I think one of the attractions when it began, when we first started playing together, is it kind of wowed basically a white middle class audience to see this this old black guy that played the shit out of the violin playing with us. And I I think that, that there's a sort of social implications of this outweigh the musical ones. That's it. That's hot tuna help. If I go back some years. If I go back some years with some of these gentlemen, I like Take a minute to introduce them individually on electric violin, Papa John Creech. I mean, the guy can obviously probably play anything, but, you know, from the old tapes and, and stuff like that, I, I don't think it's really representative of what he can really do. On lead guitar, the sex symbol of Scandinavia, Mr. Yoma Kalkinen. <laughs> situation was probably 73 maybe 74 I'm not good real good about dates but I think that's about when it was thank you something sort of interesting has happened here I ran into an old friend and we're sort of doing something together which he's here somewhere where is he now John, I know you're hiding here somewhere. I can't see without my glasses. John, what are you doing down there, bro?
when I met a guy in a cabaret. Ready, Papa, and I go my way. Mad to know what it's all about. Well, bring me home, just throw me out. Broke the nose, split my head. Don't let me catch you here again. We're through the kitchen, baby, out to the door. Dipping with a chair to my head, got sore, said that'll never happen no more. Will never happen no more.